If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Ultimate Kickoff promo, how to prepare, and what to expect for it, guys. Now... If you guys know what the ultimate kickoff promo, it's a promo that essentially kicks off the Madden 22 season. It kicks off the NFL regular season, right? That is the first like promo that introduces the regular season to us. The only time that's not the case is if we got a preseason team of the week, which would have been Tuesday. So that would be the only way that we wouldn't get that. Now, guys, before we get into the video, our Poodle Squad shout out today goes out to Isaac Cervantes. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. If you guys want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, be subbed. Uh, if you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle for 15% off. Now, let's get into this. So, kickoff promo last year, I believe, was on September 10th, although I think it was revealed September 9th at night. So, that pretty much was right in line again with this year where the first games is the 10th weekend, right, and coming into there. So, we're expecting it to be around the same time, which I, sh I hope it is because I, pr I won't be home September 3rd to the 5th. If you guys don't know, I'm, going, I'm heading over to Zerk's house uh, those days, so I will be gone for two to three days. I will have videos ready for you guys. I will record over there as well for a few instances, but... Really hoping the kickoff promo doesn't drop those days. But yeah, updating you guys on that. Now, the thing is with ultimate kickoff is that there's been years where it's been good. There's been years where it's been bad, but it's been it's been good recently. I think they, they messed up that one year. If you guys remember, I think it was Madden 20. They dropped like four ultimate kickoff players, like 91 overalls. They went for like 600k. They were impossible to get, and no one ever got to use them. It was just horrible. It was like Khalil Mack, Aaron Rodgers, DeAndre Hopkins, and Khalil Mack. Aaron Rodgers, DeAndre Hopkins, and one other player. And the worst part about them was, was that since they were so unobtainable, they also went into power upsets, so you weren't able to power players up until they ended up, like, you had to use your power pass. It was just, it, it just really messed things up for a while. But ultimate kickoff last year was cool. The year before that was even cool. I really liked the year before that, I believe it was. I don't remember. No, no. I liked the idea of when they had the cards that went up in overall and training based on how they did, but I didn't like the players themselves, which I think actually was that year. That was it. But yeah, moving on, guys. So the ultimate kickoff promo, we can expect it around September 10th again. It usually comes right as the season's about to start, if not right when it does start. The promo's fun. It's going to be a few players just to kick off the year now. In the, last year, the way they did it was they did have a LTD, a master, and a set with Nats that went into the master. And you actually were able to take back some of the uh, the players back as Nat, which I do like. Now, I'll take you guys over to the ultimate kickoff in a second to show it to you guys. Now, what can you expect with ultimate kickoff in terms of the game? And then I'll go over what we actually got and how to prepare. So... What can you expect? Expect a master. Probably 90 overall, maybe 91 overall. Expect a, a master card. Expect an LTD. Expect some 88 to 89 overall players that go into the master set that you can get back as not. Expect a lot of low 80s. As well as, expect this as a chance for them to upgrade a lot of players who may not get upgrades. And, expect a solo sequence that does give us free nat players. So, if I had to imagine, I'd figure we get one of the, one of the top set players. Like, you know how... Um, Last year, we had Byron Jones, and we had the four players that went into them. I'd ex expect one of those four players, like the 88 to 89 overall heroes, expect one of them to go into the set for free out of the challenge. So expect a solo sequence of kickoff, expect a free player, and if they really want to go all in this year, we'll get the team collectibles and all that stuff again for free as well. But that's that. That's what to expect. Expect one to two LTDs, expect some masters, expect some heroes, as well as expect some, whoa, some packs as well, but the packs probably will be more about building the sets than they will be about pulling players. And expect a free player. I expect an 80s, 89 overall player for free. More than likely. If not, it'll be some of the lower pieces to build one. Like they did with Superstar MVP. So that's how to expect. You know, how to prepare. This promo is pretty clear cut, right? As far as the solos go, they'll come and you'll play them. As far as the pack so you'll come and you'll buy them. As far as the master goes, you're going to need coins. Byron Jones is really good last year. I would recommend putting aside maybe like 100 to 200k. Just in case you like anything. Now, you don't have to spend it on it. You can just wait. But... The thing is, when these promos drop, right, the market starts to... This, this has always been the problem in, in Mutt in general. People like to make coins for new stuff when new stuff comes out. What is the problem with that, right? It's like you have an iPhone 10, right? You have the iPhone 10 when it was new. That iPhone 10, if you sell it in the same year you get it, you can sell back for a lot of money. The instant the iPhone 11 comes out, the iPhone 10 drops down in half price. But everyone wants the iPhone 11 now, so now everyone's going to sell it for half price. So they don't care. They'll spend it, and then they have to pay the other half to get the new phone. Instead of, you could have sold that iPhone 10 even just a few weeks before that phone came out a month, and you would have had a much bigger profit margin. So similar to this, people are going to wait until Ultimate Kickoff to make their coins. So, Ultimate Kickoff's going to drop, oh, I love the master, let me go get 200k. 
The same elites that you're going to sell for 200k probably came down a little bit because of ultimate kickoff. So instead of 200k, you're going to have to sell 250k worth of coins to get to the 200k. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you sell beforehand, those players will still be up. So 200k would only cost, us say, three elites of uh, 86, 87s. But if you wait, it might cost four. So I'd recommend if you think you want to participate in promos like that yearly, always get the coins ready beforehand. So like, I'm going to probably hold on to my 270k-ish into ultimate kickoff to see if there's anything worth buying. And if there's not, then you just capitalize on the, on, on the market coming down just a little bit. I don't think it's going to crash, but you can capitalize on it coming down a little bit. Or you could buy the master. Either way, it's always good to have coins into a promo. Because the worst thing you could do is that morning of seeing your favorite player being released and you go ahead and start going to your binder and just selling things. Everyone else is doing the same thing. So your Saquon that was 50K might be selling for 35 at that moment. So you're losing almost half value on them after reduction. I'm telling you, best advice I can give you right there is that is how to prepare right there. Now, I'm going to take you guys over to the uh, the screen, the other screen, and show you guys all the ultimate kickoff stuff from last year. This is the ultimate kickoff promo from last year. One of the LTDs we got that was really good was Brandon Cooks. Now, he actually lowered the wide receiver market a little bit because he was good. He was 91 speed. Now, this year, we already have Jamar Chase like that. But the difference is... Brandon Cooks does get all the thresholds, so he was like a better Tyreek Hill at the time. This Brandon Cooks this year powered up and chemmed up. He would be able to achieve a above 90 deep route running as well as above 90 medium, and if we're lucky with the right strategy card, above 90 short. So that would make him a route running beast with 92 speed powered up and chemmed up. So Brandon Cooks would be another great player this year. He was good. Our master that we were able to get pretty easily was Byron Jones, of course, with coins or the set. He got the 90 press threshold. He got the zone threshold power, uh, chemmed up and everything powered up. As well as some good speed and great jumping, of course. And he's six foot tall. Byron Jones, really good. Another LTD that I forgot to mention before was Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams was a beast for a while, guys. He was one of the everyone's favorite power players, like power pass players to be used on. He was good. He had the, he had the 90 speed powered up as well as the zone and hit power threshold and man that early in the year in the first like first kickoff promo. That was pretty crazy. And these were the heroes that I was talking about, the guys that go into the set to complete Byron Jones. You can get back Nat. You'll probably get one of these guys for free. The Yannick Ngakwe, Linval Joseph, Trent Williams, or Todd Gurley. Not these exact people, but that, that overall range of stats. Like, these are one of the cards you got for free. Now, if you don't like the cards themselves, like, I didn't like any of these cards last year. I didn't want a single one of them on my team. But what I did was, I did the Gurley. Or, but no, I think I did the Yannick Ngakwe. I did the Yannick Ngakwe. And then I bought the next three people, and then I did the Byron Jones set. I got, the, I got Byron Jones for a little bit cheaper, and I was able to go ahead and actually keep Yannick Ngakwe, or one of the players that I picked on my team. Because if you guys know how the sets work, you do the sets, and typically you can get the player, their power-up, and then you get two of the players back in the set, or one of them back, Nat, that you can just keep on your team. So I was able to actually add some players to my team while also getting the master at a decent price. So that's why I'd recommend doing that. Then there was the, all the lower overall stuff, like the cards that go into the hero. These, these cards go into the hero sets to create them, and then these guys all mix together to create him. So that's kind of how that works. We had Malcolm Jenkins, Robbie Anderson. It's a pretty good budget piece you're going to see in here, too. Melvin Gordon. We had Chase Young, who was pretty fast. Emmanuel Ogba. Uh, we got Jack Conklin, Leonard Floyd. Some pretty good budgety guys in here. Uh, Eric Ebron was pretty good. 83 speed tight end. Corey Littleton. Cam Newton. Tyler Eifert. We had Jeff Gladney. Brendan Ayuk was cool. 88 speed for Brendan Ayuk at an 81 overall was a, a really good budget beast. We had Justin Herbert. Patrick Queen was amazing. 86 speed start the year with an 82 hit power. And he was a Brooks Premier, of course, so that was pretty good, too. Isaiah Wilson, we had Andrew Thomas, Clyde Edwards was really slow, but he was cool because we had rookie premier Clyde, uh, LaShawn McCoy, Hayden Hurst was pretty decently fast, 83 speed as well, Christian Kirksey, these are just some of the players that we did see to start the year last year, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video, I went over how to prepare, what to expect, and I went over the what we had last year, now if you guys want to see real quick, if we go over to Mutt 20, this is what we were dealing with that one year to show you guys the players, if we go over to program and ultimate kickoff, you will see kind of what we were working with the year before that I was referring to. These were the cards. So these were the cards. So these cards started off at like an 80 overall, 81, 81 overall, like around there, Blake Martinez. And for every win the team got, they went up an overall. So if the Packers got, let's say the Packers went 17 or 16 0, Blake Martinez would be a 96 overall. And you're able to, you were able to quick sell them for their training value as well, which was pretty cool. But they only went to a maximum of 93, sorry, maximum 93. So no matter how many wins you got, you would max out there. So that was like a really good investment opportunity as well. But the Masters, if we go on down, were the 91s at some point. But all these guys went up. So it was Khalil Mack, Hopkins, Aaron Rodgers, and Sherman. These were the guys. These guys were so expensive. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. If you want to be shout out on the Puda Squad, comment down below Puda Squad. Like the video. And of course, be subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for a checkout. And of course, pick up some coins so you guys can go ahead and be ready for the kickoff promo. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.